Hello YouTubers, so here's a video on an orange party bulb LED conversion on an HPS fixture compared to a legit HPS bulb. So those of you who mostly kid, kids in the audience or hobbyists that want to collect street lights but don't want to run all these HPS bulbs all at once but they want all their lights lit, there is a solution to the to that problem so what you're seeing here this one is an orange fiat party bulb this is a filament led now these fiat ones are actually real good quality and matter of fact these ones you could dim them if you wish so you could add a dimmer to these bulbs and it won't have a problem and walmart sells their own line of led filament bulbs which i call the fiat knockoffs now you could get two for the same price as this so and there is a noticeable difference between this and that bulb there the shades of orange are different now this one is a super super it's i want to say more like a super bright orange not a very deep rich orange like this but you gotta think, this one is gonna be a lot brighter than this because you're talking about 7.5 watts or slash 4.5 watts in this bulb's case compared to 150 watts that this fixture uses. It does give you that HPS streetlight vibe, which is cool, and a lot of you enthusiasts go for that. But let's say you wanted to use one of these, let's say, as a nightlight, you don't want to. You don't want to be running HPS bulbs all night long because obviously these things get really hot and it would heat up your room real quick compared to this where it gets warm but not hot. So yeah, there's this one here. Let's switch out the bulb, this Fiat bulb for this great value one. There is a noticeable difference. So now you can touch these. These are LED. They get warm. And I do have an adapter in there, those of you that are wondering. I bypassed the ballast and all this because this ballast was bad. So I have it bypassed and have the socket directly connected in with the terminal block down there to do things like this. And you see and notice right away how the colors are different. So now this one looks more like a true HPS light. At least some, at least a, I think it might, might be more like a 70 watt HPS light. That's what this bulbs remind me of when they're fully warmed up. Not, not 150. 150 is more like a, like a white orange color, more whiter in color than this. And compared to this bulb here, this bulb reminds me of when the HPS lights first warm up, how like really deep orange they are at first. That's what that one reminds me of. This one reminds me more of when it's fully warmed up on a 70 watt fixture. That is a Walmart bulb, so Walmart bulbs are your best bet. Just don't expect them to have a long lifespan or, or when you go to the store, shake the boxes like I said, because sometimes some of these are literally shattered in the packaging. Because sometimes some Walmart workers are more disgruntled. So I'll probably try to take a picture, a still picture of this fixture with both bulbs in there so you can see the difference. It's kind of switching back and forth a number of times. Hopefully you guys notice the difference with the pictures. Yeah. There is a big noticeable difference with the bulbs. This will, this, will, this will apply to most HPS fixtures, obviously. Now, if you do have one that has a, for some reason you have a, some sort of street light with the E26 socket, you could hook that bulb, screw that bulb directly into the socket, but you still need to bypass the ballast. Because then you'll probably blow your LED bulb up. Which I know some of you guys probably wish to see something like that, but I don't have a junk bulb for you, unfortunately, but as far as that socket goes, you can purchase one of these at Home Depot 
that adapter socket, and I believe it's three or four bucks a piece. I hope that barcode's any use to you guys that want to use a barcode reader, but here it is. So, yeah, this is a Leviton E40 Mogo socket to E26 or E40 to E26 adapter. These ones are much better quality compared to the ones you get from Amazon. Because the ones on Amazon, the ones on Amazon have a plastic outer shell, while this one is porcelain. So if you wish to stick it, I don't know, some of you might want to stick a 500 watt bulb in one of these, for example, an incandescent bulb. That socket could handle it, no problems, because I think it can handle up to 600 watts. But that porcelain socket here at the end of the fixture, that one could handle probably up to 1,000 watts. Because they're pretty universal. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this LED video experiment here. And comparing to your good old HPS bulbs. And stay tuned for more.